Well, it's Monday and we're starting the week off in kind of typical spring Central Coast fashion. The winds are up. We've seen a mix of clouds and sunshine around the area here late in the afternoon. This is Pismo Beach. Of course, it looks spectacular, but it's a little biting. That wind is definitely something right now. Cuesta Peak. Let's take a look at the time lapse. You can see the low clouds earlier today and then kind of clearing off and high clouds moving overhead for us on the south coast. Same story early low clouds ultimately burning off, but the fact that we had to use some of the sun's energy to do that kept the temperatures from getting too far. And now some low clouds pushing into the San Luis Obispo area. 58 northwest winds 19 miles per hour. Avila Beach 57 more sunshine. The winds 18 miles per hour. Let's check out Santa Barbara. The Riviera looking stunning 64 south winds 7 humidity 63 percent. Yeah, the winds are big. We're 15, 20, 25, 26 miles per hour here for the Central Coast, and those winds are actually very, very energetic here on the western portion of the South Coast. We've got an advisory started at four o'clock, goes until midnight, winds 20 to 30, gusting to 50, but really we're just talking about the Gaviota Pass area and adjacent areas. So with all the wind, it's actually mixed out some of the cloud cover. What we saw in San Luis Obispo is this little finger of low clouds in here actually modeled shows that continuing to slide out of the area. So we might actually see some of that clear off. Now, what's interesting is you can see it's in Lompoc as well and San Luis Obispo, Guadalupe currently with the low clouds. Now tomorrow, early clouds for the south coast, partly cloudy in the afternoon. Temperatures near 70 interior valleys back up into the lower 80s again. Coastal valleys mid 70s in the afternoon for a peak and the west facing beaches upper 60s and low 70s. So it's not going to be as biting tomorrow. High since midnight 82 past or 66 Santa Barbara 64 Santa Maria 69 and slow. And yeah, the winds up to 30 miles per hour in Santa Maria today. That's one of the reasons the models are pretty confident there's not going to be a lot of low cloud coverage. But again, some cloud cover creeps up the coastline from Ventura County into Santa Barbara. Otherwise, as we get into Wednesday, you'll note a little more offshore push here. It's going to hold the marine influence at bay. Temperatures come up mid to late week. Here's why that's all happening. We get this tumbling area of low pressure in the upper atmosphere as a trough of low pressure with a ridge off to the west on Tuesday. So yeah, more northwesterly winds. But as we get into Wednesday, we're under the influence of a ridge. It's not going to last for very long Wednesday, Thursday, part of Friday. This is Friday kind of flat zonal flow here, but this feature for the coming weekend will bring temperatures down. Just wanted to show you how we come up with those forecasts for temperatures. The outlook beyond the seven day. This is the eight to 14 day. It's going to be warmer than average and drier than average. But again, average for us even this time of year is not to have much rain at all. So again, tomorrow, 71 Lompoc, 74 Santa Maria, 76 San Luis Obispo. So a little warmer than today. North Coast beaches in the 60s, 65 more away, 75 at Avila Beach. Five cities, Pismo, 71, 76 AG, 75 in California Valley. Santinez Valley temperatures mid 70s, South Coast right around 70. There's the extended forecast. Look at the additional warming on Wednesday and Thursday, low 90s. Friday, again, just kind of holding serve, but the weekend will be cooler. And by Sunday, the interior cools into the 70s and 60s return to the coastal valleys and beaches will be cool and it will also be breezy this coming weekend. Richard Mort 6, back to you.